come on, man, there's no way you can do the carnivore diet with no teeth, right? Wrong. Hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. If you're new to our channel, my name is Larry and me and my wife Cassie have been on a journey to lose over 250 pounds eating the carnivore diet. In the last 18 months, we've really been in a groove. We've lost over 180 combined pounds. Feeling good, real good and getting our life back. Over the last year, I've had a request for this video quite a few times. So I'm finally sitting down and it's time to talk about dentures and the carnivore diet. Uh, you may not be able to tell, but I have no teeth. <laughs> Technically, I got four teeth down below. Uh, my two canines and the ones right next to it. Um, so I got a partial on the bottom, but I have a full upper plate. Now, let me take you back to when we started the carnivore diet. Uh, you know, Cassie and I had some success. I had lost about 40 pounds. And longtime viewers know we fell off the diet and we gained you know, all our weight back plus some. I ended up gaining 80 pounds while we were on YouTube. <laughs> it wasn't too long after gaining that 80 pounds uh, that it was time for me to get my teeth extracted. Uh, we finally saved up enough money to get it done. For those of you who don't know why I had to get dentures, I've talked about it a long time ago. Uh, you know, I 10 years of drinking, vomiting every day. I was a full-blown alcoholic, been sober eight years. They just eroded my teeth. I mean, completely destroyed them. So um, it was like the last badge of shame, you know, where these not too good looking teeth I had. And I was really ashamed of it. And I've talked about my rosacea as far as my alcoholism goes. It's gotten a lot better, but my teeth really did, you know, I like to smile. <laughs> Anybody that knows me knows I'm a happy-go-lucky guy. I smile a lot. And if you watch some of our early, early videos, you know, I didn't smile as much because I was pretty embarrassed. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people would have started a YouTube channel with that, with that mug. <laughs> and I actually documented here on the channel when I got my teeth pulled. I think at the time... You know, we might have had 400 subscribers. So a lot of people haven't seen those videos. In today's quick video, I'm going to go over exactly what that was like. Um, the entire experience. Uh, you know, it wasn't fun having all your teeth pulled. Yeah, I'm also going to show you a couple products that really helped me out along the way and may be able to help some of you out. Probably 90% of our viewers are either 40 years old and older. So I've had a lot of people reach out to me that are just about to get dentures or they've been thinking about it because their teeth is in such bad shape. And understandably, they're concerned that they're not going to be able to continue the carnivore diet while having dentures. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can eat a carnivore diet uh, when you get prosthetics, but it's going to take a little while to get used to and we'll go over that. But first, let me take you back to the day I had my teeth extracted. Let's check it out. Today's the big day, tooth extractions. I went this morning and had my impressions done. They're manufacturing my dentures as we speak. I leave in about an hour. So I'm gonna have my last lunch. Big, nice, fat ribeye from Cassie's work. So here's the ribeye Cassie hooked me up with. And uh, then a seven day fast. But I'll definitely show you guys what I look like right after. They're a little bloody. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I gotta tell you, that was brutal. Anyway, I gotta go get my uh, prescription. I gotta go get my prescription for our antibiotics, so I'll be talking to you one more time. Damn. So in that clip, you saw the last ribeye I ever ate with my own teeth. And, uh, you know, we had only been back on the carnivore diet after one of our falls for about a month. And the reason I did that, because when Cassie and I were yo-yoing, struggling to get back on the diet, you guys 
A lot of you know what that's like, you know, when you slip, can't get your footing and, you know, you're back on the diet for six days, then you fall. I mean, we went through that for a while. That's how we gained all that weight. But my blood pressure was back to being very, very, very elevated. So much so that when I first went in for my consultation to get my teeth extracted, the dentist told me my blood pressure was too high uh, for them to do the procedure. And I mean, I had two choices, either get back on my lisinopril, my blood pressure medicine, uh, which I had gotten off of, you know, our first couple runs on the carnivore diet. But you know, we had been yo-yoing for the past two, three months. And so my blood pressure had gone back up to where I was in the danger zone again. And like I said, he wouldn't do the procedure. So I could either get back on my blood pressure medicine or get back on the carnivore diet because I knew that would get my blood pressure back down to normal. It always had. So that's what I did. You know, we planted our feet. Cassie was right there with me. We said no more cheating, you know, and we stuck to the diet. And I don't even remember how much weight I lost in that period, you know, maybe 15, 20 pounds. But most importantly, my blood pressure got back down to normal. So when I went in to have those extractions, you know, there wasn't a problem. And that's how confident I was. Carnivore was going to get my blood pressure, you know, back into a normal range because, you know, I had experienced it two other times, you know, doing the diet, getting off my medicine. And that footage of me in the car, that was literally like 15 minutes after I had them pulled. I was completely still numb, bleeding all over. But, you know, they pull your teeth and then they give you your immediate dentures. And that's actually what I still have right now are those dentures they gave me on that very first day. Um, I actually have an appointment in two weeks to get my final set of dentures. I've, I've been procrastinating, been busy, been putting it off because these do me fine right now. I would have had them sooner, my final set of dentures, my nice set, but I'm looking forward to getting them. The dentist is like an hour away from me. So I, like I said, I kind of procrastinated. So that day I had my teeth pulled. I'd been back on carnivore for about a month. And that's with no cheating. And I was determined to stay on the carnivore diet. So much so that I told myself I was going to do a seven-day fast while my teeth healed. And I found that to be impossible. I had to take antibiotics, you know, after the extractions. And I didn't even consider that. And I told Cassie I was going to fast for seven days. You know, I mean, we're no dummies. We know you, you have to eat something when you take antibiotics. But I was so focused on staying on the carnivore diet, it didn't even cross my mind. And I actually made it like 40 hours to day two of not eating any food and, you know, just dealing with, you know, my teeth being gone. That didn't last long. I, did, I believe it was my second or third bout of antibiotics. I got sicker than a dog. I mean, like, uh, I've never felt that way in my life. I just can't express how bad I felt. I remember Cassie wasn't home and I had to go to the store to get something to eat immediately. I was having these weird hot flashes and these, I was sweating. And I remember I went in, I got some cottage cheese. Um, I got some jello. I got some pudding, anything I could eat without teeth. I scooped up. I remember getting to the cash register and I almost lost it. I almost vomited right there. I mean, that would have made the cashier, it would have been her worst day of her life because, you know, my mouth was still full of blood. If I had vomited, my dentures would have come out. I remember sitting there just like holding on for dear life. You know, and she's like, are you okay? And I told her I just had a dental procedure. I got to get going. So anyway, I got home and I ate whatever I could. You know, like I said, pudding, jello, those jello cups. Um, cottage cheese was a big one. You know, I thought maybe I could ground up some meat. I mean, that was my plan. Like when I first started eating, but when you haven't had your teeth pulled and you don't know what to expect, you don't know. You don't know what it's going to be like to have no teeth. And I don't think there's anybody that could get their teeth pulled and stick to the carnivore diet. I mean, maybe if you just ate scrambled eggs, but it's not just about what you can put in your body, you know. Sure, you could scramble eggs, you know, you could purify your meat and drink it, but there's more to it than that. You have to learn to chew again. Not only do you have to learn to chew, you have to learn to swallow again. You have to learn to talk again. Um, so even if you like drank meat, you know, and you know, eight scrambled eggs, let's say for two months, your mouth's completely healed. You still wouldn't be able to chew because you have to learn all over again. Um, check out this next clip. This is 
two days after my extractions. I wasn't in a good mood. And this is actually, I believe, the only time I've ever cussed on the channel. I got irritated with our pup brisket. We'll check it out. I think a lot of you guys are asking how I'm doing, and I really appreciate that. You guys are awesome. I love you all. But here they are. It's going to be a minute to get, get, get used to this. I feel like my mouth is just full of nonsense, you know. I think I'm going to have to have the dentist already trim some of this. It's just so bulky in the back. I'm constantly gagging. I know, I know I'll get used to it, but it's going to be a process. But I'm feeling good. Um, bleeding stopped. The, ble the bleeding stopped. The bleeding, the bleeding stopped. And brisket. Dog just pigging out. I don't have any teeth. Don't eat like that in front of me. Damn. You hear him over there just nailing that food. Bastard. Well, you being a bad boy? What a good boy. Uh, hopefully this will get better soon, guys, and I can eat some steak. Definitely going to be a change. Definitely a life change, and we're going to have to get used to it. So, And uh, hopefully I can... Damn, my mouth just feels so full of shit, you know? Like, I can't talk. So as you can tell, I wasn't in a good mood. And what I said about, oh, the dentist is going to have to trim some of this off, you know, I can't even swallow it. He never had to trim anything down or anything. You just have to get used to it. Uh, it's amazing how bulky it felt in my mouth. Um, you know, it was a challenge to take a sip of water, you know, without, uh, you know, choking. And still to this day, sometimes I'll aspirate you know, some water when I'm drinking. I'm hoping my final set of dentures will be a little more streamlined than these. I want to say it again, in my opinion, there is absolutely no way you can have your teeth extracted and stay completely on the carnivore diet. I don't think it's possible. Um, my heart was dead set on, on, on staying on it. I mean, so much so I spaced out on the antibiotic on an empty stomach thing. You know, but even if I was able to fast for seven days, you still need to learn to chew again. And the way I did that was with saltine crackers. I mean, it would take me a half hour to eat one saltine cracker, but you have to learn to manipulate food again with your mouth. I, I, I often tell people this, you have a leg cut off, right? You're not going to get your prosthetic and just go running. You know, you have to learn to walk again before you can even think about running. And that's what it's like with your teeth. So if you're on the carnivore diet and you're going to be getting your teeth extracted and get dentures, you might just want to, you know, give into the fact that you've got to go off the diet for about 30 days. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you, I was really getting depressed during that time. It's a life change. I'm sure anybody goes through that, you know, whether they lose a couple of fingers or an arm, a leg, you know, but I'm sure some things are a little more extreme than others. I remember thinking, well, thank you, God, I still have my eyesight. You know, could you imagine losing your eyesight? You know, you lose something like your teeth and you, you kind of makes you think about those kind of things, you know, what, you, what you're grateful you still have. But I got to tell you, I'm used to my dentures now and I can eat anything under the sun. Um, the only thing you're not supposed to eat with dentures is like hard candy. Well, I'm not going to have that anyway, right? Um, hard nuts, which you guys know I love nuts. I love cashews, but they're not part of my carnivore diet. But it's funny, I love the way they feel when I eat them with prosthetics. It's probably one of my favorite things to eat is certain types of nuts. And cashews is, is probably that. Now, as far as your taste goes, your taste sensation definitely goes down. Your palate, you know, definitely changes because the plate is covering the roof of your mouth. You know, like if I was going to have a spoonful of peanut butter right now, I would want to take my teeth out and enjoy it because you feel the texture on the roof of your mouth. And, you know, there's certain things that would be more enjoyable without your teeth out. But like a steak or eggs or anything like that, I'm completely used to now. I can't even remember now what it tasted like with teeth, if you get what I'm saying. So it's an, it's amazing what you can get used to and what you do get used to. But I definitely fell into a little bit of a depression for three or four weeks. And now I want to bring up a couple products that really changed everything for me especially one product. So when you get your immediate dentures, you know, they pull your teeth, they stick them in. You got to leave them in there for like three days. You got no adhesive or anything. You know, you're basically, your your gums have to heal. 
and your denture is sitting in there so you don't have to walk around without teeth, which some people do that. But also, you know, it keeps them covered and protected. And then as your gums heal, they shrink. And so your dentures get really, really super loose. And I was trying all these different kinds of products, maybe about three weeks in when, when the healing process really started. I tried denture wafers where you wet them and you put them on your plate and stick them in. I tried all the different adhesives. You know, I was watching YouTube videos on what to use. And I happened to come across this guy who showed this product right here, Cushion Grip. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Um, this changed my life. It made my denture experience, you know, like I said, I was depressed. I felt defeated. Um, even when my mouth started healing up and I was able to start attempting to eat meat, those other products just did not hold my teeth in place. But this stuff, this stuff is actually like a malleable uh, plastique. Um, you, you put the tube in hot water and then you squeeze it out and you actually line your dentures with it and then put your dentures in and it molds to the to your gums and it lasts about five days and once you use it you don't have to use any other adhesive nothing so i found with uh you know like fix a dent and those other adhesives they didn't work very well and at night they were such a pain in the butt to get your mouth clean you know you take your dentures out you soak them at night but all that adhesive would be in your mouth and it would literally take me like 15 20 minutes to get it off the roof of my mouth but with that cushion grip you don't you you pop them out you put them in you know your bath for the night and that's it you don't need any adhesive you wake up the next morning brush them put them in and it's molded to your gums and it lasts it, the package says it lasts four days it lasted me up to seven days at a time and then after about six seven days i take it and you peel it out of the denture you know you peel the mold and then you just reapply. If you guys are already denture wearers and you are using adhesive, guys, try this. I'll put the link down in the description. I've always got it off Amazon. It comes in a three pack. This stuff really changed my life. Now, I really don't use this anymore because I've had a new liner put in these dentures by the dentist. He did it one time. So after my gums healed up for about six months and they shrunk, I went back in and then they put like almost like a permanent liner, what this stuff is, and it's still in there. So my gums have shrunk a little since then. So like if I got nothing in my denture, I pop it in. It's not completely secure like I would want it, but it's not so bad that I need the cushion grip. So now what I use, because like I said, they're not very loose, is fix -a dent powder. This stuff's really cool. Um, you know, if your dentures are just not quite loose, but, but they are a little bit, the powder is awesome. Um, you wet your denture and then, you know, you just sprinkle it on and then shake it off and stick it in. And it's all the adhesive you need. It's easy to clean up. But like if we were going to go on a trip right now up north to see Cassie's dad, I wouldn't take this with me. You know, I, I would just... Put the cushion grip i wouldn't have to use much because i don't have a lot of room in my dentures but i would definitely use this because it's so easy once it's in you know it's just man I, i'd say it again this stuff changed my life this stuff took me out of a depression like i thought my life would never be the same you know what i'm saying cassie can probably still remember how happy i was the very first time i used this stuff cushion grip and it's been around since like the 1930s it's been around forever and i'm so glad i came across that guy's youtube channel because this changed my life i highly recommend this um, if you have any sort of play in your dentures you know of course prosthetics are not like having your teeth you know like with anything over time you get used to it I, i'm very thankful for my dentures you know um, i put off getting them a long time because we had little larry who needed you know dental work you know throughout the years since i got sober and cassie did too she needed a couple root canals and i didn't want to get my dentures until their dental work was taken care of we slowly saved up for it and then i was able to get them i couldn't be happier with them you know it's no fun to get your teeth pulled you just hang in there and uh you know keep a positive attitude and this is coming straight from the heart my advice is don't sweat the carnivore diet until you learn to chew again and you learn to you know live with them my favorite thing to eat, you know, while I was, when I first healed up was filet of fish from McDonald's. Because I could actually eat that sandwich without my teeth even, even in. 
And I remember I had like a week where that's all I ate was filet of fishes. You know, that was right before Cassie and I started our current run on the carnivore diet, which was February of 2022. So um, I'm looking forward to getting my final set of dentures, see what they look like. Like you can see here, my uh, they don't fit like perfect. And they're not bad, but you know, you can tell these are, you know, don't match up with my other teeth. But, you know, I got the expensive final set from Affordable Dentures. And I want to say something about them, too. The Affordable Dentures I, I went to, I got no complaints. But they are busy. You know, it's almost like a fast food chain <laughs> in the in the denture community. You know, um, they are cheaper. Um, my dentures, I like I said, my final set, I got the most expensive for the extractions, my immediate dentures, and my final dentures. It ran, I believe, $3,600, you know, and I paid cash. So, you know, I mean, I priced many other dentists and it can run from, you know, five to $6,000 if you go through a private dentist. And I got nothing bad to say about affordable dentures, um, but, you know, you do get a sense of, you know, you just feel like a number when you go in there. When you go in there, they're packed. You know, like I said, it's a fast food of, of denture places <laughs> but you know I, i'm 100 percent satisfied i even gave them a google review uh you know because i did have one time where i had to go in uh, my denture was digging and they got me right in and they they shaved off a little bit and took care of it so um, nothing bad to say about them and if you guys are looking to get dentures you know there's nothing wrong with being nervous and scared about it that's normal but I, I hope this video maybe calmed your nerves a, a little bit. You know, my quality of life now is the same as it was before. You know, um, I don't like having my dentures out. I have friends who, who like to walk around their house if they're in private without their dentures. I don't like that because I like, I like my jaw to hit something. My jaw closes too far and it hurts like right here. You know what I'm saying? Like without my teeth out, my jaw will close farther than it normally does. And it puts this weird pressure on, I don't know, is this your mandible joint or whatever it is? This tendon right here this is very uncomfortable. I do sleep without them. I mean, the dentist tells you you have to. You, get, you have to let your mouth breathe. But uh, anyway, that's the denture video I got for you guys. The carnivore diet is completely doable once you get used to chewing again. And I have found there hasn't been any kind of meat that I could not eat uh, with my dentures. You know, something like ribs, yeah, it's a little bit of a challenge. You know, I just take my time, but uh, now I, I can eat big, huge chunks of steak where when I first had them, I'd have to cut them real, really tiny, put a little piece of meat on each side and chew at the same time. You know, it's a learning process, but you'll be so much healthier if you have rotten teeth and you get rid of them and you go with dentures. So I hope anybody out there who got some apprehension, maybe this calms your nerves a little bit. And you guys would be surprised how many people have asked me for this video. Now with a video like this, you guys have any questions regarding dentures or something I left out, a question you might have, I will answer each comment directly. Um, when I do a video like this, I always do. So please share this with somebody, even if they're not doing the carnivore diet, you know, a friend of yours or family member, but they're about to have their extractions and they're going to get dentures. You know, this video could help them out too. So it'd be really cool if you share it with them. You guys hit the like button if my teeth look pretty. <laughs> you guys know I like to laugh and it feels good to be able to smile, you know, and not sweat. You know, people like looking at you. It, it, it's not a good feeling, you know, especially when, you know, you got joy in your heart and you like to smile, you like to laugh. So I love my dentures. You know, they're not my real teeth, but I'm very thankful for them. And uh, I'm thankful for you guys. Appreciate you guys always having my back. And we'll see you in the next one. Remember, no sugar, no carbs, no cheating. Later. Thanks for watching, gang. Before you go, check out this next video where I count down the top 10 foods for the BBBE Challenge.